Okay, let me show you how, in theory, you would um, create these report cards. So I have this folder for report cards, and you can make as many folders of you as you want. I would do three grade name a teacher to the, in the year, and you might have three grade Smith 2014, two grade so and so, just so you know that you would create folders to host your report cards for each teacher. And they would need a template, so I always create a folder for the template. So here's the report card template. And you can see I added merge fields here and just uploaded what you had before. You'd have to obviously work with that, make it what you want it to be. So you create a folder where you want a bucket for those. You create a template. And then you have a spreadsheet. Here's report cards 2014 for, and you can put different sheets for every class in here and then change the script. It's probably smarter to keep a separate spreadsheet for every grade level. Go to add-ons, get add-ons, and add AutoCrat. Once AutoCrat is added, choose your template. And you might have to map to it. I have it right there. Use template. Then it's going to ask you to map the tags. Tags are up here, first name, last name. In the sheet, you saw the tags I had, so we're, they match. If it doesn't identify the tag in the sheet, it'll, it'll let you pick it from the list. And then you just save that. Then you pick the naming convention. You can copy and paste these d to down here, or type them. I copy paste so I don't typo them. So you've got last name, first name, report card, and this is steady, grade three. And then I want to make it a Google Doc because I want you to be able to edit it. And if I say email or share merge docs, let me see what email says. I don't think I want this option. No, I don't. So we're just going to leave that unchecked. And then click on Save. In the Advanced Options, you can select the folder that you want this to run to. And then all you have to do is share that folder with the teacher as an editor. So um, just note that it can run slowly, so you run one batch at a time. But I'm going to click on Advanced first, because I want to select the folder that all the, these grade three kids are going to go into. And I want him to go into that folder called Kayla's Report Card. And I had set that up before, so that's fine. But if not, you would map to it. You could add a folder and search for it. Let's run the merge and see what happens. You can see that these documents are being created. If I go to the folder right now, Grade 3 Steady, they didn't go into the folder. I must not have selected it correctly. So I can move them. Just make sure that you go through the process of selecting the folder. I must not have had it clicked. Open it up. Now the teacher just needs to have access to it. So I just click on Share. And in this case, I've already shared this folder with KSteady. But um, let's say I want to make it with KSteady at imtech.org, which is the domain we're working in. And even notify adding a message, your report cards are ready. You can input grades um, and then click on send. And so now that teacher can go in and just add their grades by clicking report card to report card and update it each quarter. The student's name will appear at the top, and of course you have to do your editing and make it a, a entry, something you can enter on. I believe this would be a simpler approach than working with having them enter through a form or spreadsheet, because then they could edit everything, and, and teachers are more comfortable with that. So 
this might be the way, way to go. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. I'll go back to the spreadsheet so you can see that it's completed successfully. If you get a timeout, you just keep running the merge until everything's run. And if you have any questions, you can email me at amalika at amtechnology.org.